Yo, what's going on everyone? We're back and I'm here bringing another NBA 2K21 video. In today's video, we are be doing a Tyrese Halliburton rebuild for the Sacramento Kings. So if you're new to the channel, guys, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and let's hop into this video, man. So the Kings was, I believe, what, the 13th pick? Uh, Spurs were 11, so with the 12th pick, the Sacramento Kings selected Tyrese Halliburton, who actually fell to them, which a lot of people were shocked that he fell that far. He was like the second or best point guard in the draft, people were saying. So after after LaMelo Ball and um, they just, I guess, felt different that he, they were pretty happy that he fell. So with this team, man, we do have uh, De'Aaron Fox, who's already the point guard. So even though this is a Tyrese Halliburton rebuild, we are going to be playing them two together. So I will be moving um, the better shooter to... Uh, which is Tyrese Halliburton. So he is going to be playing some shooting guard, even though he is technically a point guard. I do want to move on from Buddy Hill because um, I know some Kings fans like Buddy Hill, but having Buddy Hill just, I don't know. He's like he's like that odd man now. I do want to move on from Harrison Barnes first. Um, Harrison Barnes just really hasn't lived up to anything since he's got paid from the Mavericks. So if we can move on from Harrison Barnes and his 22 million year contract, what could we get? I would like to get uh, players that are going to help now. Like Harris LeVert could probably help now. Aaron Gordon. Um, you get two for one here. And a Marcus Smart and a Daniel Tice. It's just... You get Drew Holiday. Clint Capella. Mitchell Robinson could be... I know they have Marvin Bagley, but... This just clears up a lot of cast space for the offseason. So if we get Mitchell Robinson, uh, I know they got Whiteside too and Bagley. Like Bagley's gonna be playing the power forward. I don't know why they have him as a center. Um, Bagley is literally um, gonna be playing the power forward. He goes to like 84. So right now, I mean Tyrese Halliburton probably won't get any PT. We'll keep Buddy Hill for now. Um, but the team isn't too bad. Um, we have so many big men. Holy cow! The Kings have so many bigs. I, th I thought Detroit had so many big men. Jabari Parker can go along with, um, I like Rashawn Holmes, um, but Frank Kaminsky can go. We just need like a small forward, and this team is pretty much good to go. So if we can just, Draymond could play some small forward, and then we could probably trade him for next year. Rudy Gay is a good small forward. Um, Gary Harris, Joe Harris, Tim Hardaway, no. Taron Dross, no, no. Clint Capella, Brooke Lopez, no. So I'll probably, Draymond doesn't do that good though in 2K. So let's go with Draymond and then make him a small forward and then flip Draymond. Because Draymond, like I said, doesn't do that well in 2K, but he goes to an 80 and then he does have a lot more money to that where we could, um, he's making more money to where we could trade him and get someone better. So you throw Draymond up there along with like, Corey Joseph's making 12 million. I didn't know Corey Joseph was making 12 million a year. I just need some type of small forward that can produce. Aaron Gordon and Terrence Ross are not bad, actually. You get two for one. Um, yeah, let's go with Aaron Gordon and Terrence Ross. And then we'll just move Terrence Ross to the small forward position. Or Aaron Gordon, whichever one fits better. Aaron Gordon will go to a 81, while Terrence Ross goes to a 80. So I think... I'm going to leave, yeah, we'll just leave him at backup small forward. So the lineup is going to be De'Aaron Fox, Buddy Hill, Aaron Gordon, Marvin Bagley, Hassan Whiteside, with Mitchell Robinson, Terrence Ross, Rashawn Holmes, and Tyrese Halburn is going to be getting some PT. He's definitely going to be playing. Well, he actually was playing, but we'll give him more minutes, and we'll give the rest to him. So Tyrese Halburn is going to be a star on this team, and we'll see how he does in his second year. So we made it to the end of the uh, first season. We did go 46 and 36. Giannis got MVP, LaMelo Ball, Rookie of the Year. It's always the same, mostly the same thing all the time, man. It gets repetitive a lot, which kind of is annoying, but we did not get anyone on the All-NBA teams. No De'Aaron Fox anywhere to be found. And on the All-Rookie teams, did he make it? He did not make it. So we did actually kind of make the playoffs. We got the seventh seed. Y'all can see right here. Um, it's kind of like... We made the playoffs, but you kind of didn't want to to get a higher pick. But it is what it is, man. We did make the playoffs. So the Aaron Fox had 21 and 7 for us. Buddy Hield had 17. And then Marvin Bagley had 14 and 6. Taron Trost did his thing, Aaron Gordon. Hal Burton had 7 and 3 for his first year. Shot 42% and 37% from the three. Not too bad. He's a 79 now. So hopefully he goes up. 
So we are taking on the Dallas Mavericks. Let's just simulate the round. Um, I know y'all can't really see, so I'll scoot back a bit. And we are up 1-0, 2 uh, We actually beat the Mavericks. Wow. So we actually do beat the Mavericks. Buddy Hill had 25. Terrence Trotz had 22. Marvin Bagley doing his thing. Taking on the six-seeded Rockets, who we end up losing 7-2. This Kings team was kind of competitive in these playoffs, so I'm not even going to lie. We were pretty much a competitive team in these playoffs. Let's go to NBA Draft. And maybe we'll get some high pick or something. I don't even think we have our pick, actually. Yeah, we don't even have our pick. It got somehow traded, I think. I think I traded. I don't know. We don't have any rookie signings. Team player options. Marvin Bagley, yes. The rest, no. Qualifying. Kyle Guy. No, he's a 64 overall. No, thank you. And then we do have to go out and we do have some cash base to get some free agents. And... Honestly, I kind of want to see like who would want to come to Sacramento, you know, like none of these guys would probably really want to come to Sacramento um, I might just throw an offer at Paul George. How do we only have 16 million? How do we only have 16 million? I think cause I took Aaron Gordon and Terrence Ross. Yeah, so if I throw Aaron Gordon and Terrence Ross up there and this top 10 protected first from the Knicks Can I just These are the only offers for real I kind of want to clear cash space to get a free agent, so I might have to just trade these guys separately. Aaron Gordon, I still don't think I'll have enough to get someone, but if I could just clear some cash space, this first round pick, Christian Wood. I do like Christian Wood, but I just got him in my last video. Jeremy Grant, no. Orion Finney Smith, Gary Clark's only making two million, and he could be like a good player. He's a 78. So we'll take Gary Clark and then trade Terrence Ross. I like Terrence Ross on 2K. Dude just is a great offensive player, man. Dude's just one of those players that will get you buckets whenever you need it. Um, we just need picks. Picks, 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 picks. I really do not. Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson can actually come and do some work now. So we'll take Jalen Brunson. I don't want to take Wesley and none you. And we do get Jalen Brunson. So do we have any money now to get Paul George? Uh. Negotiate contract and we do got money to get Paul George now, which Wouldn't be too bad man. I mean Paul George. Yeah, people will say play off P and all that But if we can get Paul George or maybe even no one's off for Anthony Davis I'd be getting Anthony Davis too much. I never really got LeBron. It'd be cool to get LeBron He did he just did get an extension though um, So we do get actually Paul George and the rest can go. Yeah, so we got Paul George LeBron went to Toronto Toronto um, what if I renounce his rights? Can I keep Whiteside? Um, we can renounce his rights. Can I keep Whiteside? If I can keep Whiteside, I mean, I'll do it. But he's not interested in negotiating, so it doesn't really matter. So we did get Paul George though, and that's pretty much the big move we are going to be making for this team. This is still a Halliburton rebuild, and the Pistons just signed Leandro Ball. As I'm recording this, the Pistons signed the Ball brother to a one-year non-guarantee contract in Detroit. Pretty cool, I guess. Paul George did go down. Um, player progression, no. Let's just go to next season. Leandro Ball really just got signed to Detroit, man. That's that's good for him, man. But chances of him making the roster aren't really that high. So with Paul George kind of going down, which I didn't really expect. Um, at small 40, goes to 87. I still want Hallam Burton to be starting. Jalen Brunson's a backup. So right now, the lineup is De'Aaron Fox, Hallam Burton, Paul George, Warren Bagley, and Dwayne Dedman. What happened to the center? Did we not get Mitchell Robinson back? Wow. I made that trade for no reason. We did not get Mitchell Robinson back. So now it looks like we got to get uh, rid of Buddy Hill's contract for our center. Dwayne Dedman. What could we do for the center position, man? We got to get a self starting center or a power forward. One of the two, or both, if we can get both. Mitch Robinson went to OKC. We could get Mitchell Robinson back. Daniel Tice, no. Steven Adams, Miles Turner, and Justice Winslow. I want like an Andre Drummond type center, man. Um, I like Buddy Hill though. Like I do like Buddy Hill's game a lot. Um, and there's just no one else making money. That's the thing. Um, I could move Marvin back. I got. Is there anyone in for agency, man? Like, if there's someone in for agency, I will do it. Um, OJ Nanobi, Dennis Schroeder, Devontae Graham, and Sinners, Sinners, Sinners. Chris Boucher is here. 
He wants seven million. Could we afford it? We could afford four million. So it looks like we're gonna have to get the one and only that we always get. Um, Kelly Olenek. We just somehow always happen to get Kelly Olenek, man. It's just never fails. We always get Kelly Olenek. So make Kelly Olenek the power forward like always. Um, I need a better center, man. But I, I want to keep Buddy Hield around. Trey Finder, do oh. Kelly Olenek and Buddy Hill. We just have to get rid of Buddy Hill because of that contract, man. That's the only way we'll actually get us a center. And maybe we can get a shooting guard in the return as well. Like, this trade would not be bad. Um, CJ McCollum, no. Greg Brown from Texas. Yeah, man. Greg Brown from Texas. He's pretty good. I've been watching him. Al Horford. Thomas Bryan and Blake Griffin. <sighs> It's just, I want something better. Like a Joe Harris could potentially replace Buddy Hill. Not his production of scoring, of course. He does have an 89-3, but Joe Harris also has like an 80-something three. A 93, actually. So that could probably be something we look at. Rudy Gobert and Derek Favors. We do get a better center. And we possibly could trade Derek Favors for a... Yeah, let's go with the Rudy Gobert trade. I mean, I kind of like this trade a lot because they are young and you do get a shooting guard. But let's go with the Rudy Gobert trade. And then we are going to be moving Derek Favors for a, uh, we are going to be moving Derek Favors for a shooting guard, a backup shooting guard off the bench. And then we should be good, man. We should be good after that. I know this is like long rebuilds and it gets kind of boring, but we got to see what we can get, man. So Derek Favors and the slaughter protected from the magic. Can I just please get any type of shooting guard, any type of shooting guard, Matisse Seibel instead of Curry, um, Lonnie Walker, mm. I need someone that's going to give me some production off the bench. Josh Green. Uh, can I just get Joe Harris? Like, we were just looking at Joe Harris. Dylan Brooks ain't too bad, I suppose. I mean, his three's not. He's not going to be doing what Buddy Hill does. Jordan Clarkson could actually could be a scorer off the bench for us. Because Jordan Clarkson actually does, uh, yeah, 17 points off the bench. And yeah, we get Kelly Olenek back. Why not? So, the lineup's going to be... De'Aaron Fox, Tyrese Halliburton, Paul George, Marvin Bagley, Rudy Gobert with Kelly Olenek, Jordan Clarkson, Jalen Brunson, and Gary Clark coming off the bench. We're just going to run an 11-man. No, we're running a 9-man rotation. I don't know why they wanted an 11-man. We're going to simulate the first, the second season, and we'll definitely be in the playoffs. So we're here in the second season. We literally, we literally have the same record as we did last year. It, Spencer Dinwiddie went back to Chicago. Um... Tyrese Halliburton did get most improved player. Like I said, man, we're trying to get this a Tyrese Halliburton video. So we did not get anyone on the All NBA teams, um, nor Rudy Gobert didn't make the All Defensive. Yeah, he did. Made All Defense second, and then no De'Aaron Fox. So we did end up getting the fifth seed this year. If we go look at stats and player stats, it was probably De'Aaron Fox with 22, Paul George with 22, Marvin Bagley did all right, and then Halliburton had 13, five and six. We saw Jordan Clarkson. Halliburton's at 84 though. Which isn't too bad. So by the end of the by the end of the next year, it should be like an 87, and we got swept. We just got swept out the playoffs. So we do have one more year to try to go win this chip, man. And honestly, it kind of sucks that we just got swept like that. Anthony Davis went to Miami. Good for him. Um, NBA draft, I don't really care too much about. So I might look to trade that pick. Front office trades. 21st pick and Paul George. What can we get for Paul George, man? Like, I do like Paul George, but I can get Chris Stops, who I think is a better fit for this team. Um, Jonathan Isaac, Jalen Brown. I do like Jalen Brown because Paul George averaged 21, Jalen Brown 24, and then Chris Stops 19. I think I'm going to go with Jalen Brown just because he'll be a 90 at small forward and Paul George is going to do. So making Jalen Brown a small forward, he is a 90 overall for us now. Let's go to team player options, which we don't really have any. Tyrese Halliburton, we are bringing back, of course. Qualifying offers, Marvin Bagley, we gotta bring back. So we do gotta bring back Marvin Bagley, and that's about it, man. So Marvin Bagley is not interested. Well, too bad he's coming back. Jalen Brunson can come back, and Gary Clark's not interested. So Jalen Brunson will be coming back, and so is um, Marvin Bagley. Whenever he gets an offer, we'll match it, or whatever happens, it'll happen. So, um, all right, so we are going to match that. Cool, so we matched it. Player progression. Player progression is literally the make or break for us right now, man. 
because right now Jalen Brown's a 90 and De'Aaron Fox is 88 and Tyrese Halliburton's 85. So if I can honestly, I want to get his shooting a little better, Tyrese Halliburton. So if we can get that shooting just a tiny bit better, I think we'll actually be competing. So let's just do perimeter shooting real quick to Tyrese Halliburton. And he's got a 96 three-point shot now. Holy cow. I did not think his three-point shot was like that deadly. So you got De'Aaron Fox, Hallen Burton, Jalen Brown, Marvin Bagley, and Rudy Gobert with Jordan Clarkson, Jalen Brunson, and two players that will never be getting PT on this team whatsoever. So let's see if there's anyone in free agency that we can just sign real quick. We have five million, so who wants five million? Patrick Beverly wants five million. Patrick Beverly is like the best option. Bobby Portis is 78. We'll go with Bobby Portis. Just get Bobby Portis. Um so now we technically do have another player. We just need to trade for we just need to trade for one more player and we should be good, man. So trade finder, just throw down these guys down here. Like just throw these two in a first. Someone's gonna want the first man and they'll take on these con these contracts aren't even bad. So if I can just get like Rashawn Holmes back, um Dario Sarge, I never usually get. Um uh, Mikel Bridges actually, or Luke Kennard. Um Otto Porter. I don't even know what we need, man. We'll just go with this center. Uh, we'll just go with him and make him a power forward and he'll be getting minutes, so. But yeah, let's go make him the power forward because we technically already have, we didn't have a backup center actually. But he goes, we have a backup power forward. So we'll see him at center actually. So we did need a backup center, so that's good for us. So the lineup is again, De'Aaron Fox, Tyrese Hallen Burton, Jalen Brown, Barbara Bagley, Rudy Gobert with Jordan Clarkson, Jalen Brunson, the guy from Kansas and Bobby Portis. So this team better make a playoff run, man. They better make a playoff run. So we made it in the third and final season, and I don't think we made the playoffs, which makes no sense with how good this team is. But 2K just says we're not making the playoffs. So yeah, man. This team didn't make the playoffs. So look at the stats. Player stats. Darren Fox had 20 and 8. Jalen Brown had his thing. Marvin Bagley did his thing. Tyrese Hallen Burns at 86 overall. Man, this dude's going to be a stud in the league. I am going to lie. He had 25 and 7 for us. Shot 48%. 48% from the three-point line. Dude's going to be a stud, man. I want to sim just to the end of the season to see if he actually becomes a 90 or not. So we'll just sim to the end of the season to see if he actually hits that 90 overall as D'Angelo Russell and them do go on to win the NBA chip. So let's just go to player progression and see if Ty Tyrese Hallen Burns actually hits the 90 overall. I really think he is. I really think he's going to be a good player. He's a good point guard, good playmaker, streaky shooter sometimes, but most shooters are streaky. Um, there's rarely any shooters that are consistent besides like Joe Harris, Davis Bertans were kind of consistent, but let's see. Tyrese Halliburton is still an 86 man, so it's, it didn't go up too much. No one really went up. So we'll just go to next season and see real quick if he actually went up. I want to see what his trade value is too, just for shits and giggles. Um... Tyrese Halliburton is still an 85. So if we were to trade him, what could we get for Tyrese Halliburton? His trade value is literally four stars. Three and a half stars. So you could possibly get like nothing really good. That's a bonus, I guess, if you wanted to. It's a bonus was the best player you could possibly get out of that. And uh, the double O that was in the draft. And Derek White, of course, you know. But that's going to end the video, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. And comment down what other player rebuilds you want to see or rebuilds in general. And I'll catch y'all guys next time. Peace.